I was having a chat, you know, with one of them some time ago. So one of our people in this town, multi-billionaire. From our discussion, you know, I saw the action orientation. He said, I deal with things the way they are. I have big dreams, though, but I deal with things the way they are. <laughs> and I don't allow anything to stop me. He said, when I was in school, he said, if I had the class, but it was raining, he said, I would just walk. I said, and he said, yes. I said, I would just walk into the rain and walk to the class. He said, I will arrive at the class drenched. And people will be laughing at me. He said, but they did not know I was happy because I achieved my objective. I made the class. I said, eh? He said, yeah. <laughs> He said, I live in, he said, I live in Lagos. If I want to move from the island to the mainland, I ask, what's the traffic situation? If they say it would take four hours, he said, I just factored the four hours into my plans for the, year, for the day, and I entered the traffic. The important thing, I achieved my objective. Then I, I, I discovered why he's a billionaire. <laughs> uh, all excuses, dead. Action, orientation. <laughs> There's another one, a multi-billionaire in this city. So he came for DLA, the Star Leadership Academy, a multi-billionaire. So the people in class did not know who they were sitting there, if they did. Ah, some people would have bought him lunch, bought him lunch, quick, quick. But I knew. And I just found out that as I was teaching, I was taking the class, he was smiling. He was smiling. So during break, we had a chat. I said, ah, you were smiling during the class. He said, he, didn't, he had very little education. He said, I was, he said, the reason I was smiling was I was telling myself, ah, I wish somebody taught me this when I was starting. He said, I had to learn the hard way. He said, he said, I learned by doing. I tried. If it doesn't work, I tried. I changed the thing. I do it. He said, ah. He said, sometimes I'll be trying to solve a problem. He said, my head will be hot. So when he left, I said, ah, someone with little education, but heavy action orientation. He was telling me one of his investments in Abuja, real estate investment. He said he gets, as at that time though, he said he was getting some years back, he said he was getting four to five billion naira a year from that one. He said, and he said he made the investment reluctantly. That it was his friend that just harassed him, harassed him to know him that he had to come and do the investment. This place is going to change. Come on, this investment is good. Say, so no, he was not interested. So, and just that investment, just four to five billion a year. When he left, <laughs> so, I thought, so I thought to myself, was it a problem that I went to school? It looks like, it seems as if school does something to our brain. So the person that serves as apprentice, he did, he's from the eastern part of Nigeria. So you know how the structure is. Yeah, you serve with someone. And then they release you. So we go to school. By the time we come out, we're walking all over the place, doing application, looking for who to work for. The person that does apprentice, even as vulcanizer by the roadside or mechanic or so. When they get freedom, like they call it, they start on their own, right? But the one that went to school is looking for who to work for. I said, oh, God, that mess you on me. <laughs> but those are the people I love to hang around. Action orientation. When they were teaching, when I was learning how to play golf, one day I was about to hit the ball. I lifted my head. There were two trees ahead of me like this, direct. I looked at the ball, I looked at the trees. I stopped. So I asked the person training me, I said, the trees. <laughs> the guy said, sir, Sherry Guinea. <laughs> Can you see trees? He said, Koshigi now. There are no trees. I said, eh? <laughs> he said, sir, you see that there are different kinds of ions. The one that I gave you is specially designed for that. He said, when you hit the ball, he said it will go up. It will go up. 
So don't worry. Just do your own perfect swing. Make sure you hit the ball. Say, if you could let. Say, OK. <laughs> mm. The thing just went straight for the tree. Bow. <laughs> he says, sir, it was the tree that was in your mind. <laughs> Obstacle, obstacle. That's what we're focused on, obstacle. And then we're paralyzed. We don't take any action. <laughs> ah, since then, anything I'm thinking about that, Koshigi. <laughs> there is no Igi anywhere. This year, you will have to act as if the obstacles don't exist. <laughs> you will have to act as if you have the money. When they ask you, can you do it? Your first answer will be yes, before you figure out how. Can they? Jump, you will develop wings on your way down. Ah. The how will come out when you really need it. The reason why you're not getting the how is you don't really need it. You've not put yourself in a desperate situation. Fix it, give it a deadline. Make the first, how do you think Jesus fed the crowd? Five loaves of bread, two fish. How do you feed the crowd? Just break now, go and serve the first person. And then they found out you break, you give. Ah. The thing is still there, cut. Ah. -ah. That's how it is. Don't sit down somewhere and be assuming some people have a special life. Oh, they are lucky. They are not lucky. Their luck is in action. Woo! This year, your small move will be multiplied by God. What you touch with a finger, angels will move with supernatural bulldozers. Your action will be small, the results will be big. In the mighty name of Jesus, every form of obstacle to action, orientation, we did.